So I'm Ted Zanker. I'm a practicing child psychiatrist in New Haven, Connecticut, and a delegate from the Connecticut State Medical Society to the American Medical Association House of Delegates. And we've been bringing forward Resolution 116, which speaks to the problems of so many states uh, reducing funding for outpatient and acute inpatient psychiatric care due to their own fiscal problems. Uh, the AMA has for many years been very supportive of uh, the needs of our patients who are ill and who've lost their way in the world, both children and adults. And the reason that we're bringing this resolution forward is to help the public understand how bad the crisis is and that no good crisis should be wasted. Uh, for example, I spend half time on a child psychiatry inpatient unit of a general hospital, 20 beds. We uh, work very, very hard with kids who have tried to walk in front of cars, who are psychotic and getting hallucinations, telling them to kill themselves or hurt their families. Uh, kids with severe eating disorders and all the other problems that people think children don't have. And uh, we probably get 12 calls from emergency departments around our state every day begging us to please take children in who are desperately in need and there's just no room at the inn. And for this reason, we're bringing this resolution forward to alert the public about how desperate the need is. It's just not right. We're letting children languish. The Yale New Haven Hospital Emergency Department two weeks ago had 10 children being boarded on the pediatric unit with sitters uh, while waiting, trying to get kids into hospitals. They would sometimes languish for weeks. The same thing with the Hartford Children's Hospital. And every emergency department around the state has children staying overnight in these not ideal facilities waiting for beds. So we very much want the public to become aware of this desperate need. Thank you.